All right, well, we are going to take a look at something by request. This is called Voyager Linux. Now, I know nothing about this distribution except that for some of you it's very popular and that it is a distribution that I believe is based out of France. So like, let's take a look at this. I'm running this inside a virtual machine with Ubuntu Unity as the host. Let me go ahead and uh, full screen this and we'll see what we got. All right, this is the default desktop here. A lot of white, as you can see. Uh, I Installing this, uh, very easy. This is based off Ubuntu running the XFCE desktop. So if you are a beginner, the installation process, at least, was very easy. But the question is, is this a Linux distribution for beginners? Honestly, I don't know, because this is the very first time I am going to take a look at it so let's take a look and see what we have all right well this is the default desktop here a lot of white <laughs> space uh, I guess this is somewhat pleasing to the eyes if somewhat unusual one thing I noticed briefly right before I started recording I was clicking the different uh, different workspaces and it changes the default wallpaper if you will here it gives this uh, comic book uh, cartoonish background. Uh, I'll give them credit for being different, but I'm not sure what all this is supposed to mean. Be it as it may, this is what you have on the default desktop. Looks like we have some kind of conky here with the time, the date, uh, RAM usage, CPU. That's okay, I, I kind of like that. At the bottom here we have some kind of dock docky panel. Alright, well let's right click, see what happens here. Okay, as you would usually find with XFCE, right clicking will give you a menu, submenu type of application or applications. This can be very useful. Uh, let's see, I'll go to applications. This will give you the default software that is pre-installed. Voyager box, what is that? Okay, Logic Cells, Backup Voyager, Restore, okay, some kind of configuration setting. All right, that's fine. And Voyager Wall, is that wallpaper? Uh, let's see, let's see what happens. I'll click Bureau 1. All right, so apparently it is wallpaper. And apparently lots of choices. This is based off Ubuntu 13.10 Saucy Salamander. You know what? This wallpaper is so unusual. I'll just keep it the way it is. All right, so from the top right to the left, all right, shut down the different workspaces, time and date. And left clicking does nothing. Thunderbird is already running but not responding. Okay, so it's Thunderbird just running a little bit slow in a virtual machine. We'll get out of that. Radio tray. I love this piece of software. This allows you to run the radio while you are browsing off your desktop or working on your desktop. I do have this. Uh, installed in Ubuntu uh, 12.04, radio tray 0 0.7.3, 2011. A bit outdated, but at least it still works for me. I noticed there are default French stations. All right, my internet. Uh, let's see, go to the volume icon sound settings. Again, lots of white space if you like this. I'm not sure I do, but at least it's very easy to read and very simple. Uh, simple, And as you can see, it's reading my microphone. So that's simple enough. What do we have here? Search. This is um, Synapse, I believe this is called. The Tunar File Manager. Okay. Nice function there. Uh, what do we have here? This is probably... Oh, okay. This also brings up some applications, pieces of software. Did I know that? I guess that's kind of cool. Somewhat off, somewhat reminiscent of, of the GNOME 3 or GNOME shell desktop environment. Okay. 
And this is probably, yep. Home folder and the start button there. Let's go to the Ubuntu Software Center. That's the way it should have become, but it's hopeless. I'm, I'm just reading the card, the comic page off the uh, desktop here. All right. The standard Ubuntu Software Center. I think this is quite friendly for beginners. Let's see what applications, pieces of software are installed. The web browser would be, I'm sure, would be Firefox, because I see the logo here at the bottom. Okay, let's go to Voyager page. Okay, I do not have I do not have Flash installed. You should download the updates the codex as you are installing this I did not uh, this is all in French uh, how do I change it to English um, hmm. select language here we go and select language doesn't give me a choice okay um, this might be because I don't have all the updates installed, but this is quite unfriendly. I mean, I know I could go to Google Translate, but as it stands right now, I cannot change the language. All right, but Firefox is working, so let's get out of that. Let's see what else we have here. Accessories, let's see if anything sticks out. Synap Synapse, as I showed you, very user-friendly. Games, not much. Mine, Sudoku, graphics. All right, uh, GIMP, very good piece of imaging editing software. GThumb for your photos. All right, Internet, of course, Firefox, very nice. And Thunderbird Mail, I use that. Multimedia, Clementine, a very good music player. Pulse Audio Control Plus, Pulse Audio Equalizer. I actually have that installed, but something that does not get talked about very much. Very nice. All right, VLC, a very fine uh, media play for both Windows and Linux. Mini 2, Radio Tray, I talked Velco Screen, a new uh, screencasting piece of software for Linux that seems to work a little bit better than Kazam, at least for the newer distributions of Linux. All right, let's see what else we have here. Office, Abbey Word, a nice lightweight word processor system. Firewall bleach bit. I use that a nice uh, cache cleaner, garbage cleaner for your um, Linux operating system. Synaptic package manager is installed. Very nice software and updates. This is where you will go to check your pieces of software and PPAs that are installed. All right, very nice. Ubuntu Software Center. We looked. Let's go to help. So far, this is looking very uh, nice and easy for beginners. And this is based off Zubuntu 13.10, Zubuntu, which is based off Ubuntu, and Voyager Linux is based off of that. Okay, very nice. Zubuntu website, contribute to Zubuntu, log out. Let's see what we have. All right, a very simple log out screen menu. At the bottom, we have web browser. terminal, a see-through terminal, and it's default in green. I've noticed that if you try to type in something that's very, very difficult to see, I notice that you may want to change the wallpaper. A mouse pad. I'm not sure why that would be why that would be a default icon there on the dock. All right, file manager. Just go into view here as you would probably in Windows if you wanted to change the setup on this again. Very easy. Skippy XD. Um, it says Conky. Okay, I did not know what that was. Slings Cold. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Oh, you can change. I see it now. One, 
to this is new for me folks so all right these are all your applications that are installed very nice um in ps could be about a buscar um i think that's spanish why is that defaulted to spanish i think it's spanish in a voyage in a french distribution strange but nonetheless easy to use okay escape minitube welcome to minitube okay toss today search hey it works and then it crashes <laughs> let's try it again um, all right there we go Can I get out of this? Terminate. Yes, we will terminate the application. Ubuntu Software Center, Settings Manager, Plank. Kill Plank. Hmm. I guess that's what the doc is called, the Plank, I'm assuming. All right. Anyway, I guess you get the picture of how this works. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they put this uh, comic book wallpaper here, but hey, it's different. Well, my final thoughts on Voyager Linux. It's different, to say the least. Yeah, I would say it's uh, probably designed for beginners if you wanted to try something different. Uh, I will say that make sure you download updates while installing. That would include all the regular security updates and the codecs. Uh, so you can play, you know, Flash, you know, your videos and music. I do like this, uh, what's this called, Slinks Cold? Uh, application here very nice similar to gnome shell the default gnome shell you can go to your uh, applications very quickly let's see here can I type anything in here will it let me there we go I was going to type in clementine just type in in CL I guess similar to using synapse very nice and it looks like this is using, I allotted a gig of RAM. This is using 413 megabytes of RAM, which is, I would consider, lightweight. One more thing about the panel, you can add applets, what I call applets to this, add new items, which is very user-friendly, as you see here. And let's see, I'll just add notes, as you see there, or whatever you want to add to the panel all right you can see notes is here to the top right I'll just log out from here shut down well I would say user-friendly somewhat uh, bizarre that it would have uh, not the default English as you saw there in running a French distribution uh, again, that might be part of the updates which I did not install in Voyager Linux. Seems to be okay, seems to be uh, stable. So if you are looking for something different, uh, definitely check out Voyager Linux based on Zubuntu uh, XFCE 13.10. Thank you for the recommendation to try this. As always, thank you for watching, and as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.